What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're just going to go through a uh, simple tutorial creating a uh, kind of a rustic wood uh, bedside table. So let's go ahead and just jump into this thing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to draw the footprint of our um, cabinet. So we're going to come in here and I'm probably going to figure that this is, um, let's say it's 3 foot 6 inches wide by two foot six inches deep so we'll draw a three foot six by two foot six rectangle just like this and you can do that by tapping the r key uh, clicking once and then uh, typing in your measurements and hitting the enter key um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to take this shape and you're going to use the push pull tool to extrude it up to its height so in this case i think we're going to assume that it's um we'll say it's three foot six inches high as well for right now so we'll see how, how that turns out. We can always come in here with the scale tool and mess around with that a little bit. But um, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create kind of our wood perimeter here. And so we're just gonna use the offset tool on this face. So just tap that F key, move your mouse over this face and click once, and that'll allow you to offset it. And then you're gonna type in the uh, distance that you wanna offset that. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are probably, that it's probably a two inch offset, just like this. So now next thing we're going to do is we're going to split this in half so that we can draw our drawers on one side and our cabinet on the other. So draw a line down the center just like this. Then draw another line over here that's one inch. And draw a line down. And the center line is basically just kind of a guideline for us right now. Um, we're just going to draw another line over here that's two inches just like this and then you can erase your center line so you can see what I did is I just used that center line to give me kind of a guide point um, in order to split this in half so now we've got this divided into two faces so first of all let's go over our two halves so first of all let's go over here and let's uh, make our cabinet side so you're just gonna offset this again by another two inches just like this so you can see how now um, I've got kind of this perimeter around here and then we're going to push pull the center back just a bit so probably we can go ahead and say that it's going to be 0.75 for right now and that'll just give us kind of our depth of our cabinet door right here and so we'll come back in here in a minute and we'll model the uh, pull that goes up here but for now we're going to go ahead and we're going to model our cabinets or our drawers so we'll come over here on this line and we'll use the divide option so right click on this line click divide and then move your mouse down so it divides this into three segments just like this and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a rectangle on this bottom one you can delete out this face on the top so you're gonna double click on this bottom rectangle and you're gonna right click on it and say make component and we'll just call this drawer and uh, make sure this box that says replace selection with component is checked. Then we're going to use the move tool to create two copies of this. So to use the move tool in copy mode, you're just going to right or you're going to activate the move tool. You're going to click on this point and then you're going to tap the control key. And you can see how now this creates a copy. Just click on this corner and then type in times two or x two and hit the enter key. And that'll create two copies just like this. And the reason we did that is now every time I come in here and I edit one of these, um, the others will change as well. That's how components work in SketchUp. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to model our drawer pulls. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to download a drawer pull from the 3D Warehouse. So one of the great things about SketchUp is the 3D Warehouse has so many free models in here that you can use. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and you can just do a search for drawer handle. Um, and then uh, just find whatever handle that you want. In this case, I've just picked this really simple one called drawer handle from David M. And I'm just going to click download. And it's going to ask if I want to load this directly into my SketchUp model. And the answer is yes. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to kind of rotate it. So just with the move tool, just move your mouse over this until you're right over this little red cross. And just rotate that. Just rotate that so it's kind of uh, on here the right way. And then uh, you can go ahead and move this on your face. And you're going to have to... You know, play around with this a little bit in order to get it to sit on this face. But you can kind of use inferencing and stuff like that in order to do this. And then all you're going to do is you're going to find the midpoint on this piece. 
So move your mouse over it until it kind of inferences to this midpoint. And then you're gonna move this left and right until it centers. And then you're gonna move it up and down using one of these side midpoints until that's centered on your drawer piece as well. And if you brought this in inside your component, then you're gonna get multiple copies of this, um, one in each one of them, but I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna hit Control C. Or no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit Control X because I wanna cut it. So I wanna do cut. Then I wanna double click inside my component and I'm gonna say edit, paste in place. And you can see what that did is that took this handle and it put it inside your, your drawer component. And so you see how it gets repeated just like this. So then you can come in here, you can select it and uh, you can kind of scale it if you want to to make it a little bit bigger. Um, and you may want to come in here and do 1.25 across one corner and then 1.25 across the other corner so it stays centered. So now those, those drawer pulls are a little bit bigger. So then a couple more things we're going to do. And you can come in here if you want and you can color this. I don't really like the way this color looks at the moment. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to color this just white like the rest of my model for right now. But we can come back in here and change that later. But then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to offset your drawer top out by let's say an inch or so and then you're going to push pull it up by about two inches and then you can uh, kind of heal this face by drawing a rectangle across it and then erase this extra geometry in here so now you've got your drawer top and so you've got your top in here you're going to come in here and we'll probably do the same thing we'll just download a component out of the 3d warehouse so just come in here and do a search for probably cabinet pull will probably do it there you go so you can just download this door knob uh, cabinet pull this one's from mobile house furniture so you can just download that and drop it right on your face right here so that was really easy then we're going to come in here and we're just going to draw the uh, legs of this table. So all you're going to do to do that is you're going to inference down from this point until you get a point here and you're just going to draw a line across. And then you can also go ahead and make a copy of that with the move tool and hold the shift key to kind of inference off of this point right here. And then you can just kind of push pull this down about three inches and you can push pull this one down about three inches as well. So. Now you've got your complete cabinet in here. So now you can come in here and you can add materials or kind of customize this however you want. So anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Was it too simple for you? Um, what, do you what do you like to see in, in uh, SketchUp videos? Uh, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. So make sure you leave a comment below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, just to uh, help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.